The go-to argument for opponents of cannabis legalization is that the plan is dangerous for young users. They say that it lowers IQ while causing mental illness and respiratory disease. Because of this, prohibitionists say the cannabis should remain illegal, for the sake of the children. But a new comprehensive study found that cannabis does not cause depression, cancer, asthma, psychotic symptoms, or other mental or physical health issues in adolescent users. Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and Rutgers University tracked 408 male adolescent cannabis users into their mid-30s. Participants were put into four groups based on their cannabis use. Non-users or infrequent users, early chronic users, those who only smoke during adolescence, and teens who continue using cannabis into adulthood. To complete the study, the scientists controlled for other factors, including tobacco use, other illegal drug use, and whether participants had health insurance. The study's lead, Dr. Jordan Bechtold, a psychology research fellow at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, said the results were surprising. Quote, there were no differences in any of the mental or physical health outcomes that we measured, regardless of the amount or frequency of marijuana used during adolescence. While these findings may not surprise some, one can safely wager that prohibitionists will ignore this decades-long study and continue to spread the myths that cannabis causes mental illness, cancer, and other diseases.